Planned Parenthood has removed its president from her post. Dr. Liana Wen spent less than a year on the job. This comes as Planned Parenthood and the future of abortion rights have come under the microscope in recent months across several states. Let's go ahead and bring in CBSNews.com reporter Kate Smith, who joins me now on set. Kate, thanks so much for being with us. Um, so tell us, Kate, what actually led to Dr. Wen's removal? So I spoke to a few sources that are close to this, and they are telling me that this is by no means a sudden action. This has been weeks in the making. And they're telling me that since Dr. Wen came into this post, there were immediate leadership and management problems that they, you know, unfortunately just weren't able to manage out. So what does this then mean for the future of Planned Parenthood? So they've already named someone else to take over the role and they're happy about this person, they're excited. And I think what they've learned through this is that they really need someone who understands that the head of Planned Parenthood, it is more than a clinical role. It is a role that is highly political. And especially as we saw early in this legislative session on the state level, mm -hmm. states are actively going after abortion access, right? We saw over 300 different pieces of legislation that directly impact the ability for women to get abortions in, the, in their own respective states. And so what they really need is they need someone at the top of that, not only giving, you know, accurate information, but also wanting to do that. So when I was speaking to sources, they were saying that multiple times that Dr. Wen would put out facts that weren't actually true. And they constantly were telling her, don't use those facts. A one that comes to mind is she constantly would say, thousands of women died before Roe v. Wade. Uh, from illegal abortions. Now that was obviously found to be not true by the Washington Post and a source was telling me on the phone just now that they told her many, many times before that Washington Post article came out to stop using that fact. Mm -hmm. And so I think that they've really learned from this and understanding that they need someone who understands and has a communication style that can be really quick and understands both parts of that role. It's interesting though, the timing of it, as you point out, coming at a moment when this debate over abortion rights really is at the forefront. Yeah. All right, Kate Smith, thanks so much for being with us, Kate. Appreciate it.